Who is she? Who is she? Oh, it's priceless. You look like your forehead just goes bad like that. Draw those eyebrows on daily. Hi everyone, I'm Alison Hammond and I'm going to be playing Big Brother's Biggest Secrets with Cosmo UK. Don't forget to subscribe to Cosmopolitan UK to see more. I cringe when I watch back the breaking of the picnic bench. Ah! It's so cringeworthy, but so, so funny. I absolutely love it. Well, nothing of me. I don't cringe, I cringe at others thinking, oh, look at them trying to be like me. <laughs> Honestly, it's real, and I like to be real, you know? Oh God, I cringe at everything. Anytime uh, I watch it back, if me and my wife have people over, she knows how embarrassed I get. So she sticks Big Brother on YouTube on the TV. It completely cringes me out. Almost every scene I'm on television, I've done thousands of makeover shows and things like that. I just cringe. Don't like me voice, don't like me teeth, don't like anything, but who cares? <laughs> My favourite Big Brother memory from my series has to be the launch night. We'd been in a hotel for like three nights beforehand. No telephone. We were ready to go into that house. In fact, I think I screamed so much and I was laughing so much. All the saliva from my mouth disappeared. So I was saying hello to everyone. I think my mouth looked like this. <laughs> My favourite memory probably is my date with Big Brother. Um, that is a date that I don't think I'll ever forget. I was drinking champagne and I was on oysters and I ended up really drunk. Um, so yeah, that was that was like uh, an awesome date. I'd have to say the confrontation with Nasty Nick, that was a real turning point, I think, for me and the programme. The contestant I got on with the least was probably Adele, mainly because, I'll be honest with you, when I was in the house, I thought we got on fine, but afterwards, I watched it and I was like, oh, don't think we got on there, did we? Don't think she really liked me. Yeah, she didn't like me. Good. <laughs> I'm over it. Probably Derek. Derek didn't really seem to like me. Um, so I kind of didn't really like him back. So if Derek is watching this, I hope you're well, matey. And yeah, no, I don't hold any grudges on my side. I still keep in touch with Johnny Regan. He was the fireman, he came second. Uh, Kate Lawler, the winner of My Big Brother. PJ, in fact, two days ago, he came to my house. I gave him some brownies. He came to the end of the drive. I left the brownies and he went. It was really nice to see him, actually. I occasionally speak to science. Who remembers Citizen Science? What a character he was. Nasty Nick, believe it or not, yeah. Two years ago, the wife and I were out in Australia, Sydney, Australia. I proposed to Laura up on the top of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And then the next day, we went for dinner with Nasty Nick. It was the first time the wife had met him. And uh, hmm, it was an interesting conversation. If I could tell myself one thing before going into that Big Brother house all those years ago, it would have been, girl, draw those eyebrows on daily. You're blonde, honey. You look like your forehead just goes bad like that. Draw those little bitches on. I came third, so <laughs> I think I've done all right. Use the diary room as a diary, you know, go and speak to Big Brother. I saw Big Brother as like the headmaster and I just never wanted to go in there. If I'd used it more to vent, it would have been a lot more helpful to me. In fact, Big Brother always had to call me to go in the diary room. I was like, oh no, what now? Be yourself. Yeah, nothing else, just be yourself. My all time favorite Big Brother contestant of all time ever, <laughs> is Jade Goody. I read her autobiography prior to going in to Big Brother and she really, really inspired me to do the same and we became really, really close after Big Brother and I miss her. My heart hurts when I think about her. Love you, Jade. I think my favourite contestant of all time has to be Johnny Regan, just mainly because he was my companion when I was in Big Brother. We had such a laugh, like belly laughs. 
Like, you know when your stomach is just cramping up and you really want to go to the toilet because you are laughing so hard? That's how hard he made me laugh. Little Nikki Graham, when she has it, tantrums. Who is she? Who is she? <laughs> oh, it's priceless. Big Brother taught me so much about myself. The main and the most beautiful thing that I can say it taught me was how to love myself and accept myself for who I am. I came from quite a troubled background and it just gave me self-belief. You know what? Not everyone is going to love you. Not everyone's going to like you and that's okay. It doesn't matter. You need to not be validated by how other people feel about you. You need to be confident in yourself and just know, you know what? It's cool if you don't like me, that's fine. The one piece of advice that I have for um, aspiring reality TV stars now is go and take an acting course because it's completely different from my days. My days was real, raw, rugged, and I just feel like reality now is a little bit more scripted. Just go in there, don't take it too serious. Go in there for fun. Go in there, enjoy yourself, and don't listen to the haters. As long as your friends and your family, they all love you, they all like you. Fundamentally, that's all really that matters. The biggest way Big Brother changed my life was not only just self-confidence and self-love, but financially. Don't get me wrong, already paid for my tits and my teeth, was on my way, but it definitely gave me that um, leg up financially. So thank you, Big Brother. I owe you. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I, I knew I wanted to be in entertainment and I'd been doing a bit of acting, I'd been doing a bit of entertaining abroad and everything. But I used to go from one job to the other to the other. I think with Big Brother, it gave me purpose. I joined up with this morning. I loved it. I've never been bored in my job. Every day is different. I get to meet loads of people because I'm a bit of a people's person. And I think Big Brother gave me purpose in life and that's what I'm truly grateful for. For winning the show, I got 50 grand. And then the next day, I got £200,000 for doing an OK photo shoot. It helped me set up my future. It kind of made me famous. Don't like using that word, but I kind of came out. I went in, nobody knew me, and I came out, and the entire country kind of knew my name. <laughs> Hard answer to question. <laughs> Hard question to answer, should I say? Absolutely not one thing. Just maybe the eyebrows. Draw the actually, yeah, draw the eyebrows on Ash. Zero. I couldn't change a thing because I think the fact that I was evicted after week two and you know I didn't last until the end was all in the stars. I remember the producer of this morning said that he never watched Big Brother and he watched my eviction tape. Now, if I had been evicted a little bit later down the line, he probably would never have seen my eviction tape. So I never would have got the job with this morning and I never probably would have had the career that I had. So do you know what? I would change nothing. Maybe it'd be a little bit less crass. You know, sometimes I was a little bit crass, I'm not gonna lie. I saw a, um, a video of me trumping. I wasn't too keen on that, but you know, I was young. It's one of those things. And you know something, we all trump. Thank you so much for watching guys. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. It's been fun.